Hello and welcome to our next day on controlling the characters using an iPad. Now, we worked on several different things on if we were to create, uh, control the iPad using the keyboard, control the iPad using the mouse, but not all of you are using a laptop. And so we're gonna be looking at how do I control my cat when using a, um, uh, an iPad. So the problem with this is that you're trying to use an application that's normally used for a laptop. There is no app for Scratch. And so we have to do a little bit of a workaround. Now, one of the negatives and positives of an iPad is that it doesn't have a quote unquote keyboard or a mouse, by the way. So a lot of this is touch, whereas the Scratch application does not have touch capabilities for you to be able to type, for you to be able to move it. And so we're going to have to create a little bit of a controller in our uh, workspace. And so as you see in the upper right hand corner, I created a purple box in my backdrop. So if I go to backdrop and I go to backdrops, if I click on the stage, select the backdrop, I can use a square or a circle or make a space, which I made as purple. I'm gonna change it to white. I'm going to click on it and I'll just change it to, there we go. I'll just do black. Yeah, there we go. All right. So now it's, now it's another color. So this area now you can see it's got a specific uh, space where I'm going to put my controller. Now we're going to create an up, down and left and right arrow key in our sprites library. So in the bottom right hand corner, you see the cat, you see the cheesy puffs, and you see two arrows and a cat. You haven't created the arrows yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a sprite and we're gonna search it. And in all, you should see arrow. Now we're gonna click on the arrow and you'll see arrow one. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to arrow two and I'm going to create a pro, actually arrow one, and we're going to create a way so that when I tap on the arrow in my iPad, it's going to broadcast that this has happened to my cat. And so I'm gonna use the orange cat, cat number two, to illustrate this. So we're gonna go into events, and when sprite is clicked, I'm gonna drag that in, I'm gonna choose in the bottom, broadcast, and it says up for me. I'm gonna create a new message. I'm gonna call it, uh, I'm gonna call it left. I think it was that, down. Okay, actually no, it was right. <laughs> so we're gonna make a new message, and we're gonna call it right. Okay, so that means when I click on this sprite, it's gonna say right. Got it. Okay, so go to cat number two. And now we're going to create a receiving line for that broadcast. So when I receive this message right, I'm going to make my cat move right four spaces. So it's communicating across to the other sprite. Hey, I've been clicked. So now we're going to choose... Hmm, change X by, we're gonna change that to five. So now let's see what that what happens with that. So if I hit the arrow, or if I hit the flag and I tap on it, watch what happens. I've created a controller. Isn't that cool? And so now what I can do is I can go to my arrow that I just programmed and I'm gonna press down on it and hold, and I'm gonna hit duplicate. Now that's not gonna duplicate everything about it, but if I click on it, I can change what it looks like. So now I can create a down arrow. I'm gonna drag that into where I want it to be in my code. And there we go. And so I'm gonna change my code to broadcast new message and call it down. And just like in our last one, we're gonna to go to our cat, tap on the cat two. 
and I'm going to press down on the up receiving uh, message. I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to choose down, drag that out of the way. And instead of change Y by positive, we're going to make it negative five. So that's going to make it go down. So now we have a new controller to make it go down. And then I'm going to make another one for when I receive left. So we're going to have to make a left, a new message, L-E-F-T. We're going to make this change X by negative five. We're going to make it go left. So now all that we have to do left is we're going to duplicate arrow one. Press down on it. Hit duplicate. And we're going to change what it looks like. Costumes. We're going to make it look left. And I got to move my cat. I'm going to move it there. And now we have our left arrow key and our controls. And broadcast left when sprite is clicked. So if we make one arrow and we program it, we can duplicate it change what it looks like and we can re we can repurpose it for the four different arrows so that is how we make this pause this video as you need replay it as you need to make your arrows and then test out your code because i can make my cat move using the ipad touch by clicking on the arrow keys isn't that cool now you guys get back to work and you can work on your arrow keys